It's Wednesday morning, I'm just gonna go and get the fast track and we're gonna move the drainer nearer the workshop so we can change the auger around on it because the auger that moves the soil out of the trench, the burring's gone on it. Rob's tried getting it off heating up, it's not really been working. I've spoken to them, they said they're probably better cutting a slit in the shaft. I told you this yesterday actually, didn't I? And then it'll expand it a bit, pull it off. So that's what we're gonna go try and do. So this cyclone mower is on the front. So we're gonna use this as a weight block to move the drainer. Um, it only actually weighs 700 kilos, but I'm sh I think, well, I'm sure it'll be enough to move the drainer a few hundred yards across the yard. That way it saves us having to put the weight block on the front of the another tractor to move it. Sam's here on Adams 250. It's a borrowed the silence today to do some good shit. Just remove the tennis balls out of the link arms. Put them in the handy holder that Joe made. Jamming on that though, innit? Don't want to go down. Need some grease. We get a hammer and a grease gun. Got the drain on now, can you tell? The tires are a bit soft. Take it up to the workshop. Just look at this though, it's telling us that the burring housing turns. So apparently, if you get string, it doesn't want to work its way in normally. The shaft in the middle of the roller would turn. And you get string that then wind itself into the bearing with this because the bearing housing turns not the center it doesn't get string wrapped in it apparently or prime it just looks a bit weird i never noticed really that's what he said yeah that's the weight block today that is uh looking a bit warm rob we want it glowing what if you look at that in a bearing <laughs> He thinks Oli should get me up to a set of these. Can't afford it. Got a red track to meet in a minute. She's in London, but I'm going to do it on Zoom. I'm going to quickly nip up to the field where Andrew's at now, level some ruts out from where they had spuds the other year that didn't dry out last summer. So um, get them done with this now, and then we can fill it with beans. Zeri on cold start. It's always so slow. But it's because it's a cat engine and it lets the oil get up to the top of the head before it lets it fire. There we go. Yeah, this headland here, it's a bit rough from when they had spuds on it. So I'm just leveling it out now. But it's actually coming up quite dry. What my dad was saying this morning, we've had the driest February since 1986. And I think we've had nine or ten mil of rain and in 86 we didn't have any rain in all of February. Did I just say January? Yeah, the driest February since 86. Nine, nine or ten mil and none at all we had in 86. So it's not surprising stuff's dry. But some cold weather is on the way. Whether that'll bring any rain or slow with it, we'll see. Yeah, you can see the ruts down there. Well, you can't really, the camera doesn't pick it up. But if you zoom in, they're kind of quite deep. So hopefully this will pull up square and level. Might need to do it a few times, but it's a bit like a plough zoom where we can pretty good at levelling ground. Getting something like level now, you might see well there's loads of reflection on the window in it. You see how deep them ruts are there. Um considering this is on huge tires. Well, hopefully by the time this comes out the back now might look a little bit different. I've got a shear bolt just gone as well on one of them legs. Looks a little bit better. I'll do it a few times so we'll get it proper. Just gonna try changing this shear bolt here but it's a bit of a, a bit of a faff climbing into everything to do it. Should hopefully now just take out this pin and then slide a new one through. Go. That should have gone through the leg now. So we'll see what happens. Like a climbing frame now. 
pretty dry though. These are some of the ruts, like I say, it was too wet to do anything with it in the autumn of, well, when they dug the spuds 21, sort of September time, and we drilled it with wheat, but we just had to miss out this corner. Shade of the trees doesn't help. It's obviously quite sheltered as well. It doesn't get particularly windy, but it is actually quite like land. Andrew's over there now mowing the banks of the ditch so that we can reclaim some of that back. I was lucky enough to be able to buy this field. It's about 19 acres uh, two years ago now. So I'm 10% through the mortgage. But it's costing me more than ever every day because, because interest rates keep going up, which is a bit of a pain. Talking about it last night with the bank, they reckon they still might go up another half a percent and they'll peak and then they'll start to come back down. But we're saying that inflation's under control, but farm level inflation is still about 25%. So everyone else's inflation's at about eight, I think, at the moment, they reckon. Would be nice if agriculture could have different interest rates to everything else, especially as we've got the hyperinflation and no one else has at the moment. I don't know, unless there is another industry that's got the same inflation as us, but let me know in the comments if you can think of one. Andrew did all the hedges around this field and then he was mowing the grass last night. Anyway, he's just come to finish off because it went dark. But there's some sort of safe, I think, in the ditch down there. So I can't quite reach it. So I'm going to put the edge cutter in the ditch and I'm going to climb across and see what it is. And then I'm going to rip up this bit here so that people walk. It's not even a footpath, but people walk along the field. I'm going to get them to walk on the grassy bit rather than into the crop where they've been walking in the past. So if I make all that muddy, hopefully they'll walk over there. It looks to be a key safer thing. So we'll use the hedge cutter as a bridge. Or a stepping stone, maybe. This uh, hedge cutter's not as big as I remember. I don't think it's going to reach for me to walk across. I'll lower it down now and I'll try. Right, turn it off now, let's see. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of key safe. Carney Fox Heighton. Something. I don't know how long it's been here for. Bit of extra ballast now on the front of the tractor. We've got it out of the ditch. I'll uh, ring the police and they might come and get it, but I don't think there's going to be much evidence left in it after it's been in the ditch for a while. I think that must have been dumped there because it's too heavy to have floated down and it just sunk because obviously it's been prized open. So I don't know where they've gone or ever dumped it, but there's a golf club next to it. Sorry about the reflection on the glass, but I'm just going to come along here now and try and make it so that it's easier for them to walk on the grass verge if they're going to use it as an official footpath then walk down the field and like I say we reclaim quite a bit banks giving way a little bit there should be alright but look how wide it is here now you see we can reclaim all that as well it's a bit meandering now which makes it awkward for sowing and spraying just mowing the last bit now and then I can finish it off A lot of heat and a grinding disc rob's got that off now but um it wasn't a quick job yes yeah, so he's had to cut that and then weld that on and then turn it in like a um, puller to pull it off rob's just been cutting a burr in, in a race out now because it's seat solid smashing it off 
throw it now. There you go. This is all back together now, new bearing, and it's it's tightened it right up. Even the one the other side doesn't seem to want to wobble now, if you look. Uh, you can't grease it, it's a sealed bearing. Obviously the conditions it runs in. And that's now all welded back up again. So, all ready to go. Buggy birthday bonnet today because it's raining outside. Anyway, Katie Crutch, Critchley, Crutchley, 21. Uh, Jane B, the boss, uh, Jim, the Losh is 60. Samantha, I'm, do you know what? I'm not going to do surnames because I could pronounce them wrong. Samantha Barnes, that's an easy one, is 30. Richard Brooks is 53. Jack Sim, Henry Allen's 11. Jack Sim is 16. Beverly Wordley is on there as well. £27,242. Happy birthday, everyone on there, and anyone else whose birthday it is today. Quick quiz question. Everyone can take part in this. Are we going to get snow again in the UK? So if you're watching the UK by Sunday, the news are all reporting it that we are but I'm not that convinced, so what do you think? Do you think we're going to get snow or not? Let me know in the comments. Remember the guy the other day that come pick some oil seed rape up to make some oil? Well, that is it. So I think he sells it online, actually, so check it out. Mountain Produce, natural Welsh quality. Um, anyway, I've come in early, going to quickly edit, and I'm on the way to Costco by the time you're watching this because I've got to pick some stuff up for Brookhouse. So thanks for watching today, and I'll see you all tomorrow.